The controlling element in establishing a U.S. trader business is the level of activity conducted by the foreign individual or foreign entity within the United States. On one end of the spectrum, we have passive investment-like activity. Example, you'd buy one asset in the United States and you just wait for that to appreciate. On the other end of the spectrum is the active conduct of trader business in the United States, which we'll get into. All that's required is a squishy concept of sufficient activity aimed at generating a profit within the United States to establish a trader business. In addition, having certainty as to whether you're carrying on a trader business is complicated by the fact that actions of employees and agents can be imputed to a foreign individual or a foreign entity to establish a U.S. trader business. Quite often, the difficult question is not whether you have enough activity to establish a U.S. trader business. It's where this activity is being carried out. Is it U.S. activity or non-U.S. activity? To complicate things even further, certain types of activity, even where substantial within the United States, will not give rise to a U.S. trader business solely because of that activity. For example, Generally speaking, solely promotional activity within the United States is not enough to give rise to U.S. trader business, even where this promotional activity is substantial. Again, promotional activities such as advertising, gathering and dispensing information, or display merchandise in a showroom. Solely promotional activities will not give rise to U.S. trader business in and amongst itself. However, adding some sort of sales activity in the United States, soliciting orders, for example, will give rise to U.S. trader business. Another example, the mere purchasing of merchandise within the United States for sale solely offshore will not in and of itself establish a U.S. trader business. However, if you add to this that any type of production or manufacturing of those goods to be sold offshore and you have created a U.S. trader business. The mere solicitation of orders via mail order or by the internet by an offshore seller that is selling goods from offshore into the United States is insufficient to establish a U.S. trader business irregardless of where title to those goods passes from the seller to the buyer, whether that happens offshore or onshore. However, you add even the slightest amount of sales office presence in the United States or warehousing in the United States and now you have a U.S. trader business. Danger, the imputation of trader business because of the actions of third parties can cause you to have a U.S. trader business when you don't expect to have one. The direct participation of an offshore individual or offshore entity is not required for the finding of a U.S. trader business, provided there's sufficient agency of U.S. persons. A broad range of activities conducted by third parties can impute U.S. trader business activity to an offshore person. Keep in mind for corporations that are considered separate legal beings from their owners, the actions of third parties are necessary to carry out any type of business.